Welcome back everyone and welcome back to very interesting gameplay. Do you have been seen this ship before? I honestly believe it's the first one and this is a rough matchmaking. Guys we have a huge pleasure to watch Angel 33 in, in this lovely premium uh, Maggie or uh, should I call it a super ma uh, Maggie? No, it's actually the key. Uh, guys, I uh, would like to say something. Please don't uh, take in the wrong way I love you all of, of my subscribers and I know there are some few players are watching my uh, video uh, frequently you know they are watching almost every single video that I put out uh, but unfortunately I'm not that pleased about some of you guys uh, or uh, uh, how should I say left me behind what I'm trying to say because uh, some of the replays, I'm talking about replays, not information about new premium ships and uh, oncoming Roma or whatever. Uh, it's nothing about it. It's about regular game replay. I have fewer than 400. I mean, first video ever I done, I had like 300 views and that is the first one. Now, two years later, I still have this amount. That's something wrong. Oh. Uh, let me put it this way. If this video will not reach 1,000 viewers, I will never ever uh, uh, make any replay whatsoever because that's something r uh, wrong. I mean, of course, uh, I understand that sometimes you don't have time, some, some days, but this is Friday, it's a weekend, and honestly, believe it, the, it's all about the replays, guys. I'm not talking about something else. It's a replay fight that some you guys, of, so my subscriber, showing you. I have really hard to understand why I have such a few and low numbers of the viewers. For me, uh, 400 or f even 500 is not good enough. I, I will do something else or play another game. That's the thing. And this is uh, this is uh, this is the end. 1,000 or I will stop. This is the last video I'll put any replay if I don't reach uh, this 1,000, not the minimum. I still have close to 1,700 viewers. Okay, guys, this is the first shot. I do apologize uh, talking about my channel, but now versus Missouri. Now the shells are kind of uh, tied together. And 14,000 damage, guys, first salvo ever. I honestly believe this is the reason you like uh, play a battleship. Now let's take a bomb. The map it's Haven and this is a pure tier 10. It's kind of a, the biggest downside with any tier 8 uh, ship that you are sometimes versus Montana, Yamatos, Missouri and Moskvas and some nasty tier 10 destroyers. So keep that in mind. However, I do like the shape. Uh, it's it's sleek it's a very good looking ship in my opinion and uh, the firepower you definitely over uh, have versus your enemy so what's her special you are one hell of a fast battleship even though in general they're all are pretty fast even a bismarck it's pretty fast ship but bismarck does not have the firepower or accuracy you see how shells they are kind of uh, close together guys seriously the chance that you will hit of course the, this ship uh, the morning was turning but it will still get one hit for 4100 damage oh boy but now it's the the real threat the Missouri we are detected I actually like the speed a lot I don't know if this captain running uh, the um, speed flags this is the second time this captain played with this ship I would like very much uh, if I could receive from you guys a key uh, a gameplay with aircraft carrier, a tier 8 aircraft carrier. I would like to see how she performs versus tier 8 ships because in my opinion that is kind of a, a little bit downside with Amagi. She kind of lacks in AA. I honestly believe if I'm not mistaken the Monarch and the Amagi has the worst AA protection of any tier 8 uh, battleship please let me know if oh, probably Terp is also kind of a suck <laughs> yeah but however uh, those two ships I'm talking about the uh, key and 
the torpedoes you never want to brawl at close range why it's because of the torpedo threat and what we know we have a nice good looking five guns and uh, one torpedo launcher in each side now i don't know guys um, what uh, how many torps do you have probably only three i can definitely see guys only three three only guys please let me know what you think about the camo and would you purchase this ship yes or no that would be very uh, nice i know in some way i kind of do apologize but in some way probably some big other youtuber beside flamu not sir and i chase they don't have that many uh viewers uh, anyway uh, this is what i personally feel but it's just a little bit upset two years of uh, making uh close to two years making youtube videos a replay does not even reach 500 oh that was one hell of a hit that was one hit and that was the citadel and now Missouri there's two ships aiming at us this captain definitely has the uh, this perk that you uh, he knows when you're spotted or not now I honestly believe she's a pretty good uh, uh, credit maker probably not quite as a Missouri's and she has turtle back armor I kind of forgot so from close range it's hard to uh, city down she received some damage but not something special okay now this captain is pushing, which is they are doing right. Now this uh, this game it's dead on. I mean, uh, it could go either way. Um, this friendly destroyer tried to cap C, which is perfect. There's one ship aiming at at, at this captain. Baltimore, it's at 14 kilometers away, and Monarch in it's ah uh, the Monarch bugger has a better concealment. Uh, I person I struggle as hell with that monarch. I, it's for me was uh, the range was crazy bad, and if you're stuck, monarch, I kind of feel your pain seriously. Uh, please let me know, and this is a very important question: if you purchase a tier eight ship. I honestly believe, and please uh, quote me if I'm wrong or, or right, perhaps as much as 50% of all your games, you are underdog. What do you mean? You are versus tier 10. And in, in, in many ways, I know it, it sounds weird, but I do honestly prefer a tier uh, 7 uh, premium battleship. I don't know, it's... I do believe uh, the key doing fine versus tier 9 uh, battles uh, ships. However, uh, you know, facing uh, Conkers, facing uh, Yamato and Montana probably are not the easiest way to deal. And the bugger... Ooh! Holy Khabarov's guy! That was close to 26 freaking uh, salvo damage. <whistles> now this captain is heavily focused, but this uh, Baltimore needs to die. Boy, I do believe that in the couple more seconds, your history. The guns are reloaded in just three seconds. He's trying to run away, the bugger. I do believe maybe he's got lucky. Maybe I don't know. All we need to it's one shell, and yet one shell do the job yeah man i honestly believe and this is the first um, impression about this ship it's when it's hitting a cruiser it's hitting like a goddamn truck man you don't ever want a key aim at you as a cruiser now see what happened with a pretty uh, broadside missouri We don't know how much damage it was, but I have a roughly figure out that it must be close to 18,000 damage that salvo. Why? Because a Citadel... You see? <laughs> a Citadel 2 pen and 3 over pen will do roughly 
20,000 damage. Alright, she's selling away. She's pretty ha uh, heavily angled. We're still using AP because I honestly believe that's the right type of ammo in the... And one more uh, salvo to us, the Missouri. Okay, very low. Alright, Monarch is also over there. And what we have here, the Moscow. Now, this is the target, my friend. This is the perfect target to deal... Um, I honestly believe if you know to aim to the waterline, you might actually delete this uh, cruiser. I know it sounds kind of a rough, but I know exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. I did not even saw the replay earlier, but because I ha do have Moskova, in my opinion, Moskova is the easiest cruiser to delete when she is showing her side. She eats citadels for uh, lunch, breakfast, and dinner. I'm, I'm not joking. Because of her size and uh, the raised citadel. Sure, it's not fun to be engaged of a uh, 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 <laughs> Hipper has actually kind of trollish armor. I sometimes do struggle to uh, citadel a Hipper of some strange reason. And this captain is pushing like a madman. I do like it. Because he was showing you... Uh, okay, never mind. Now this monarch is showing perfect brawl. So I see if we can punish this dude and punish him hard. The shells on on the way. Oh, this is, looks pretty alright. Oh, very unfortunate. God damn unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But there's no more monarch. And North Carolina showing her side, and she is wrecked. Holy Kabarovs, guys! Uh, now the enemy team kind of were screwed up. They died like like flies at the end. And perfect broadside, <laughs> Missouri. You never do that in Missouri. For crowd out loud. Okay, the shells are very tight together. Holy Kabarovsk. Mm, only one shell. A little bit unfortunately with that salvo. Of course, it's always good to have citadel. And today, uh, this is six cit citadels with 138. Okay, now you got. <laughs> for crowd out loud. You should be angled. You should never uh, show your side, uh, Captain. Mm. And just in 11 seconds, we might we might actually die here, to be honest with you. It's just who who. Okay, this is bad. And the heal is up. And uh, AP shells from Missouri are coming. And I know, I knew it. You never show your side, Captain. <laughs> Holy cabaros! But it this will still end. It could angle a little bit better. Uh, however, in my opinion, that the credit maker just absolutely fantastic. You're gonna see, and I'll uh, send a link that you can see the um, credit potential. So yeah, this this uh, game will end very shortly because the friendly team has close to 903 cap points, and as, uh, as soon as this Missouri is uh, is going to die. Well, pretty much the game will end. So, please let me know what you think about Ki so far. Uh, uh, I honestly believe her her speed and uh, um, AP uh, um, guns are just brutal, in my opinion. I think she is a fine ship. Uh, so, that's all I'd like to say for now, guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel and leave your comment below. And uh, well, you can see the whole battle. I honestly believe that this is pretty much end. Yeah, that's the end, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.